Yara Zaya, who plays Juvie Dufresne on 90 Day Fiancé, reportedly discussed having additional children. A young girl is the couple's only child. On season 8 of TLC's 90 Day Fiancé, fans first met Yara Zaya. She fled Ukraine and everything she knew behind to start a new life in Africa with Jovi Different. They only had three months to marry before their fiancé visa expired. She and Jovi had a difficult 90-day trip ahead of them. Jovi's profession compels him to travel for months at a time outside of the nation. As a result, Yara had to spend a month alone in America while Jovi went to work. The 90-day fiancé star wasn't sure if marrying Jovi Different was the best move she'd ever made. Yara Zaya wasn't sure if he was ready to settle down and put his club days behind him. The TLC pair decided marriage was what they wanted after learning they were expecting their first child together. After that, Yara and Jovi married in Las Vegas. Jovi Dufferin had to return to work after the wedding. He was, however, detained away from home for longer than planned owing to the global epidemic. So, Yara Zaya had to spend most of her pregnancy without her husband, but he was able to make it home in time for the birth of their baby. Jovi and Yara welcomed a beautiful baby girl named Myla. On 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After, Yara Zaya and Jovi Dufferin are presently documenting their experience as first-time parents. The TLC pair had a lot of ground to cover. They have nevertheless relished being parents. On the other hand, Yara despises the fact that Jovi is always abroad for business and leaves her to care for Myla alone. She is appreciative of Juvie's mother's assistance. Nonetheless, she would want to have her spouse present. Yara Zaya makes a massive move without Javi Dufferin on the most recent episode of Happily Ever After. The lease on the TLC couple's New Orleans apartment had come to an end. But because Jovi was gone on business, it was up to Yara to determine where they should reside. She didn't seek Jovi's opinion. She reasoned that since he is seldom at home, she should decide on where they should reside. Yara wants to live in a secure environment. She wants to be able to stroll about with Milo without having to worry about someone puking on her shoes. As a result, she chose to leave the city and go to the suburbs.